Welcome to this new video of my YouTube series Getting Started with Eclipse Micro Profile 3. In this video we are going to cover the Micro Profile Open API specification. This specification is all about creating a API documentation for your JaxRS application. Over the past there have been several different solutions to do this. The most famous one might be Swagger. And with MicroProfile Open API, we will now rely on the new Open API version 3 standard. So it's a standard way for creating and exposing the API documentation. To show you how to do this, I've created a simple JaxRS application with just MicroProfile 3 as a dependency. And this application has just one main endpoint this books endpoint to return some books and also to be able to return a book by its id to create one not also delete one but here it's just um, statically coded uh, what to do so no database involved or anything else you might have already seen some additional annotations here so with the micro profile open api specification we get a a bunch of new annotations to use. All the annotations we can use are specified in the official specification and here it also says that this Open API version 3 derived from the Swagger core library so if you're familiar with Swagger you it might be easy for you to, to use these annotations. So here you have an overview of the available annotations you can use to add, for example, metadata to your API documentation. For example, you could specify the, the license of your API, add a contact information if you need this, and also specify the parameters in more detail, so a description of your API parameters, what they specify, how to use it, if they are required, for example. Also, the request body can be specified, and we will see it later on in the example. And also some security stuff, so you could describe the OAuth flow of your API specification, and much more. So here I've created um, or added some of these annotations here, for example, the add operation annotation to add for some general metadata about this endpoint to describe what it does and what it is used for. And then the API response annotation where we can specify the response code. So the different response code, we know that our application returns and add a description why this happens so our clients might have a guess uh, what they did wrong. There's also a, a tag annotation, so you can tag an API. Here I created a beta tag, so to say the clients, maybe this API is currently in beta status and my, the, the schema might change. And for the next one here, I've documented the API response in a more detailed way. So here, as I'm returning the JaxRS response object and a, a POJO for it, I'm defining what this POJO is all about. So I'm saying what I will return is application JSON. And this schema of my response body is this class. So I can reference here my data transfer object, for example. And within my data transfer object, I can add further annotations to describe the, the schema. So here I've added the add schema annotation on each member variable to specify if it's required or not and also to provide an example value. And this can be also done for the request body so it's not limited to the response. And this is a basic overview of what you can do. So even without adding these custom open API specifications, you will get a API specification or API documentation out of the box. So the open API, the micro profile open API specification scans for your JaxRS annotations. So for example, the add path 
and or the at get or your produces or consumes annotation and based on this you get the basic uh, documentation so the annotations you see here are just uh, additional metadata we would not need them and it was also work without them but then we have just the, the baseline and know which endpoint we have and what it expect and what it returns so if we start this application in this example i'm using open liberty we'll get a new endpoint is also defined in the specification it's the open api resource and if we open it we get our open api specification document in text plane here and here you can see your several paths with the parameter with the responses and here the response refers to the schema i defined and here you can see the delete operation and much more so this is auto generated by default and this could be hand over to your client so you this client knows how to to deal with your api if you're using open liberty you'll get an something in addition so this is not part of the specification but this is vendor specific to open liberty you'll get a nice uh, user interface for your api so this um, looks quite similar to the, the swagger ui and based on your open api document which was generated in the background you now also can have a more visual representation of your api so here for example it's the api which we tagged with the beater annotation and here we can see all we need to know about our endpoint so here is the meta description i added with the add content annotation and here are the several response codes we return and what they are all about. And also we can reference here the, the model. So if we specified the model with its annotation, we can see it here and also the example we provided. So the client knows how the result might look like. And there's also a dedicated section for all your models where you can have a look at them and see if they are required or not and with this ui you can also trigger a request and see what it returns so here i've triggered the resources hooks endpoint with the plain get and i can see the response headers and the response body right in the browser that's all I wanted to share with you about this specification. Have fun using it.